All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to... Into the Macabre. Look at that, we finished each other's sentences. Yeah. Now, episode number seven of Into the Macabre, yeah. bi-weekly deep dive into all things paranormal, strange, and unexplained. I am Cervantes, and with me as always is... Westfall 404. All right, we have so much housekeeping items, so many housekeeping items to start all off this talking. episode. All the talking. We have a lot of things to talk about. So first off, as part of us being a deep, a bi-weekly deep dive into all things paranormal, strange, and unexplained, our mission goal, our mission statement, what we do, what we accomplish, we just, we watch horror clips, videos, compilations, shorts, anything that's, again, paranormal, strange, or unexplained, anything that falls into that category, or just creepy, weird, bizarre, actually scary, not so scary, any of that stuff, we okay? watch it real fake uh we just watch it we pause frequently and we talk about it and analyze it just give our thoughts and opinions on the subject matter if that's something you're not into or you're not looking for we say multiple times the links are always easily accessible whether you're here in twitch or you're watching on youtube um, we have them posted on there so you can go through and look at the clips if you want and you don't have the talking and maybe you know you can dive into some of these creators more and enjoy their stuff absolutely and for anyone who doesn't know basically we've been getting uh flack about you know talking too much some people just want to watch for clips and not hear for talking but at the same time we didn't label ourselves as a podcast but our show does fall into the category of a podcast so yes this is basically a podcast this is a video podcast where westfell and myself will again we're going to be watching these horror clips that we're finding and digging up and all that stuff and we're just going to be again pausing frequently and just talking about them and like wes said the, we say it all the time the links are right there the, uh, we make everything available we have receipts we it's all there if you want to just go and watch the clips yourself and not have our commentary if you're using us just to find cool clips hey awesome thanks for using us to as an outlet to find other creators like wes said dive into other creators yeah. I mean, we use you guys to find clips sometimes too. So. Exactly. We have in our Discord, discord.gg slash serve, we have an Into the Macabre channel available where we encourage people to submit any clips they have, short form, long form, what have you, of uh, things they find on online that they think would fit into this show. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's all we really got. But last time we did watch a clip and I can actually get it up real quick, but basically of the channel, the Northwest wind. I don't know which way they went and um, what, what they do over on their channel. So West you. was going to go and do some research you know into exactly what this it's channel is all about. Are they a horror North channel? Is this what happened Stanford in this clip? Is this clip uh, something that happens frequently or is this a one-off type of thing? And Wes, let's, let's hear your prognosis. So I went through their channel, watched a little bit, a few of the videos, uh, and it's not a horror channel. It's what he says, it's stealth camping. Um, and what he does is he'll go to all sorts of different places. So it's not just in the middle of the woods. Uh, he does one at Le LeBron James's house, uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at a Dollar Tree. Um, you know, I pretty much surmised it as he's playing like homeless simulator. Uh, but he does this at all these places. You know, obviously when you're in places like this or doing things like this, it poses lots of real life danger. Uh, but this is what he does. It's not horror specific. Like it's not narrowed down to that one category. It's just him doing stealth camping. So this video was just something that happened to happen. Yeah. And it's not, it wasn't posted on Halloween. So it's not like it was a Halloween episode. It's just something that actually happened to him. And I did, I did put in the video in the VOD, the definition of a definition of stealth camping. And Wes, do you want to just quickly to remind us what stealth camping is for anyone who may not have uh, seen the episode six of Into oh. the Macabre on YouTube? So stealth camping is the act of parking your camper, van, motorhome in any area without paying for a parking spot. Uh, ranging anywhere from residential streets to the middle of the countryside, you know, which I had said, like, he was in the woods here. He was at LeBron James' house. Um, 
it's sometimes called boondocking, free camping, or wild camping, but that's all, it's all the same thing there. You're basically camping somewhere illegally, yeah. somewhere you're not supposed to be. So, that's our follow up here. Yeah. Well, interesting, guys, interesting it's concept. It's a very interesting concept. I, I mean, I wouldn't do it because that inherently no. has, like Wes said, it inherently has its own uh, list of many, many dangers. And I would, I just wouldn't. I, I just, I wouldn't. I would never. We talk about it a lot how there's a lot of things we see where I wouldn't, West wouldn't. Yeah. So we also recommend you don't because guess what guys stealth camping is illegal and I've, I actually recently saw another YouTube video about a bunch of uh, Random YouTube channels that started garnering some level of fame, but got Abandoned out of left field and the reasons why they got abandoned out of left field and one was this guy who goes around train hopping and uh, he died Doing it so that's why his YouTube channel was abandoned because he was basically vlogging himself doing it. He did, oh, he did at least, you know, emphasize the level of uh, how unsafe it was. But at least you realize that it, it's it, it, at the same time you're you're also recording yourself doing something illegal. <laughs> so if somebody were to press charges against you, yeah, he was not saving you, man. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But that that's it for stealth camping. We're gonna move on and uh, we're gonna dive into some shorts like we do at the beginning of every episode. Uh, we've covered all of our bases for stuff from the previous few episodes. So now it's about time we get into uh, the nitty gritty. First off, and we're gonna jump into something that's very weird. This, this one, this is a fun one. It's from recent quadruple A developer Ubisoft and this is the game. <laughs> This is a game, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is actually my own personal gameplay from earlier. Uh, basically, I'm, my character is in Asgard, and you can call, you can summon your mount. And for some reason, no matter I don't know why it's looking as fuzzy as it is, but no matter how so if the mount died, just fell off a cliff and died, which that's that's scary. And then mount not available. That's also yeah. pretty scary. But no matter how many times I would restart the game, there was one big issue with this mount, and that is. I, oh, you know, I never fixed my recording settings. The model <laughs> is cursed. The model is very cursed. Is... It's broken. No matter how many times oh, I've no. tried fixing the game, it was broken. So you can't really see it too well here, but the legs are clipping into themselves. The yeah. head model is stretching for some reason. It's... That's triple A, triple A, uh, quadruple A, sorry, quadruple A video game company. I love it. Ubisoft and, and their shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we're gonna head into our our first proper short, and this is Kurt West found this guy. This is from a channel, Martyr Martyr Righty, Martyr Righty. I think is is that. Yeah. Uh, but this is some coal mine pillars, and this isn't. This is more. Oh, we'll let the clip speak for itself. Yeah. Look at that, 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 these wooden beams. Holding on for dear life. You can hear them buckling. You can see them buckling. Mm -hmm. That, why? Sounds like there's a big collapse somewhere else behind that too. That guy sounds like Eeyore. Well, it's West Virginia. So we're not too far off. Look at that. That looks like it's, it's gonna snap live. at the top. It's breaking live. They're oh, that's horrifying. God. Look at that. There, there it is. It's collapsing. That is insane. But yeah, that is that's, crazy. That's Holy scary. shit. Um, that's that's scary. We had some Just... caves up on here, but yeah. Caves, caves, you know, the sea, the ocean, the forest, it's all scary. <laughs> so that's, that's real. That's a real clip. And, uh, boy, yeah, you don't, you don't want to, that's just a place you don't want to be. That's just a place you don't want to be. Can you imagine yeah, being I'm a sure coal that miner? Was... That's, 
that's just every day, you know? Yeah, I'm sure that was somewhat of a controlled situation there, but... It seems like it was a controlled no. situation because it sounded like the people that were there were cheering when the collapse happened. Yeah, but, but it looked like they support... had some anchor points for some maybe heavier duty support. And had... the wood was there until they got them all out. I don't know how that yeah, works. The, I'm not a coal yeah. miner. It's not an occupation I want to start, you know, yeah, those researching into. Beams. Those were those are holding on for dear life. Yeah. Oh my God. But we're gonna move on. Called from a channel called Smug Puppy, and they're gonna be peeking at shadows. So they we post we talk a lot of stuff. I feel like shadow people have become a big topic for us over the yeah. last month or two. And uh, we've already talked about to, with Chad about, about shadow people. I mean, West claims he's never had shadow people. Uh, I actually did the other night. Wow! West went from being a skeptic and a non-believer of shadow people to suddenly he has shadow people. I mean, I haven't I had shadow people you, since I was a child. So I understand it. was asleep in my house. Um, I'm still working and I'm here and walking. So I'm like, oh, it's the cat running around. The cat's not there. Uh, he's laying in his spot where he's been. I know it's not the dog because the dog's laying right behind me. So I'm like, I look out there, nobody out there. Wait a little bit, hear it again. Look and I see a shadow go by, but it's just kind of a creepy little thing. There was nothing there. There was no lights coming in. So I don't, I don't know what it was. But. And for anyone not familiar with the idea of shadow people, it's just when it's usually more commonly associated with sleep paralysis or being in a position where you're just paralyzed with fear or something of a, of a nature where you see figures that aren't necessarily there and you, it, well, the situation plays out however it did. So in West's situation, you know, he just saw a person walk by and thought he heard some someone walk by when I was a child at, at sleeping at a relative's house i thought i saw someone walking up and down the hallway and motioning me to them and all kinds of all kinds of different stuff and at the time i wasn't necessarily it wasn't for me it wasn't necessarily sleep paralysis but i didn't want to get up and go look in fact if i recall i probably just covered my face with a blanket or something i don't yeah, necessarily I like remember if that was younger me it would have been a little bit more fantastical than that but uh yeah yeah like so it's the whole thing and yeah, i don't know there, there's yeah. definitely a lot of accounts. I'm sure you can easily look up shadow people on the internet and have lots of accounts of people who legitimately believe that shadow people are a real entity that's, you know, coming to get them or out to get them or, or what have you, or they're possessed. And it, it has, there's so many different iterations of it, but at the end of the day, it's just shadow people is yeah. the all encompassing phrase. These shadow so, people are very entertaining. So let's find out. What's going on with peeking at shadow entities? Hi guys, uh, in an effort to prove that these shadow figures are real, we've been having this oh, for British. today. Mm -hmm. oh, I've, I've been here. We've got shadow figures uh, peeking around this door today, and we can see them on the front screen of the camera. Yeah. So what we decided to do in an effort to prove that Oh. In an effort to prove that these are real, I've made sense. <laughs> <laughs> this is really close. See, very even and laughing. Yeah. As as this whole what's channel. Up, bro? Like this. Oh, what's up, bro? Sure. <laughs> I'm trying to push it back to get the best view. And I want to know why that tablet's mounted all the way there like and that. Oh yeah, why is that tablet there? mounted? <laughs> like. Yeah, you'd hear seven feet in the air. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pause real quick, but there is just a tablet mounted to this <laughs> shelf. Like I have a similar mount for my webcam, but damn, like what is going on here? Unless someone like normally sits over here and uses this as like a teleprompter or something. I don't know what, but Are you able to read it from that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It's weird. Damn. Running up the stairs. There's no other rooms to go in. So, you know what I mean? That's what we're doing. So, I don't want to get ready, guys. I'm pretty sure. Don't cover the screen. Because people say, oh, you've cut the video. Yeah. Yeah. Just try and grab it. You can. Probably talking about the okay, tablet. Go, go, go. Quick, 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 qu
Well, we don't worry, no, Tiny ass stairway. <laughs> yeah. This is flat against the wood. Yeah. Okay. Hey, what, however they were doing it, very That's clever. A, very yeah, it's clever. Yeah, a very entertaining video. They have a lot of videos very like this video. on their profile. They're not all shadow people. Sometimes it's like objects being thrown, stuff like that. But they're all very entertaining. Yeah, uh, no, that was... People look to me just... Uh, I don't know. The, the way the shadow people look was silly. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. there was clear, there's a cut somewhere in there. That or they cut audio somewhere. Like, in, oh. I feel like we queued it up too, because he's like, "Get ready," because I feel like they're about to to peek around. I think it was a fun journey. It was silly because of the way the, the character looked, but I think that that was a very good, interesting. I enjoyed those uh, thing in general. <laughs> All right, so this comes from a channel we haven't looked at in a little bit. And this is the channel Lights Are Off. Oh, and this yeah. is basically, you know, like generated at whatever yeah. way, whoever. I don't think it's necessarily, I don't think it's AI generated. I think someone actually went and created this whole thing uh, just based on these people's past work. But this is basically like a creep, the idea of a creepy underwater, you know, area. Kind of like, I feel like my, in my mind, I was thinking back to PS2 God of War. <laughs> going underwater yeah. and seeing all the statues and stuff like that and that's basically what they've created here so let's take a look at the keepers of the deep Crazy like, that ending. Nothing, nothing could have happened there. Like that ending couldn't have happened, and it would still be frightening. Just to be able to like, I don't know why people enjoy that, but you just look down and see nothing. We're gonna continue with the theme of creating a fear of water, which we've talked about a lot. So we're going back to another one of our recently uh, discovered favorite channels, and this is Real Horror Talk. And once again, they are presenting us with not necessarily a new fear, but they're reminding us of an old fear. And this is, <laughs> wait, this is another one of your, you know, your, you mess around and find out type of deals because oh, we're okay. going under a cargo ship. This is why you should never swim near large ships. In this clip, YouTuber Phil James and his partner were inspecting a cruise ship that was tied up to port when the port side propeller turned on. Luckily, they were able to swim away, but these blades can be the size of small cars, which is why it's important you swim away from large ships as hard as you can because these propeller blades can pull you under. And in this next clip, you'll see what it's like to be under a cargo ship while it's moving because this diver was diving in a shipping lane. But let me know what you think. They're just under the ship right now. Oh my and then god. It started moving. You'd see how hard it's pulling him because he's holding that chain and it's pulled like so tight. Mm hmm. Like it's it's a cool it's cool in the sense of you know discovery and oh hey look at this is we're under under an actual yeah. cargo ship that's you know actually gonna be moving cargo except oh no it's actually about to go and More you know like just from from the description it was it was docked for a while so they thought it was safe but guys don't just don't like something you set up if you wanted to do that you know like let's see what the underside of it looks like oh well, let's go talk to them and make sure that they're not gonna you know disembark anytime soon oh, but then you're gonna not be allowed to do it so that's why mm -hmm. you don't ask for permission because yeah. you don't want to be told no yeah <laughs> god said you know almost getting chopped up by giant blades yeah just so, almost die take your poison. Just, go almost yeah. die. just go almost Get die yeah. no or almost die 
Yeah, we've seen our fair share of underwater nopes, but that yeah. that one is definitely pretty high ranking up there. But we're gonna move on now, and we're gonna actually be watching two videos from this channel. This is another one of our more recent favorites, and uh, I've made the executive decision where apparently they do like one of these, they make a new one every week. So we're gonna catch, try our best it. to catch up by watching probably two until we get bored. And this is from Latent Places, the Ministry of Latent Places. So what have they got to present to us? Right now. Chiral Farm, a localized distortion in the latent membrane has been recorded at a farm in Mesua, Montana, the result of which appears to be a cross contamination of genetic code amongst the various animals on the premises. Ministry researchers have confirmed the presence of several chiral entities in the wake of the anomalous event. Animals involved in the genetic shuffle include horses, cows, pigs, goats, emus, and more. Deformities such as polycephaly and cotton duplication have also been reported amongst the creatures. About 30% of the livestock survived the event while 70% needed to be euthanized due to the severity of their abnormalities. Farm owners Cheryl and Jonathan Miller have indicated that they intend to make up for these losses by auctioning off the animals at the upcoming Western Montana Fair. Due to their one-of-a-kind nature and potentially unique labor profile, the Chimera are expected to fetch top dollar among wealthy bidders. This has been a public service announcement from the Ministry of Latent Places. I that's, love that channel. Yeah, that that's, started off like, oh, this is kind of just weird. Oh, that one might be kind of cute. And then it just took a hard right turn into Nightmare Fuel. Yeah, it's, I mean, most of it is just pure Nightmare Fuel. And I feel like that's yeah. the whole point. Uh, yeah. but man, we're, we're only going up from there. <laughs> Look, I might've picked this one for you, West. I like Who it. Who do we got now? Oh, oh, where are the chats? Chat, calm down. Hither witches, this coven of male metallurgist women reside in the Hither woods near Montauk, New York. Practicing an astrologically focused form of eclectic wick of the Hither witches find spiritual fulfillment in the stars and their elemental properties. They believe that the Mother Goddess forged all precious metals in a heavenly furnace and that these materials as found on Earth are holy relics. For this reason, Hither witches place special focus on the creation and exhibition of fine jewelry, self-forged chains and ornaments that adorn their wardrobe and hang from their shrines. These pieces represent a deep connection to the stars, Earth and entirety of the universe. Their veils are thought to encourage a collective connection to their surroundings and the souls of one another. Ministry researchers suspect that the coven has access to a hidden network of caves that lead to private door veins. The Hither witches have no desire to leave their humble wooded home despite their high net worth. This has been a public service announcement from the Ministry of Latent Places. Where did those chickens so, come from? Yeah, I don't know, but I don't know about you, but I was actually trying to count the fingers as oh, I didn't they showed each that. one. Uh, because I'm trying to determine how do are these guys AI generating or actually are they putting in actual work? And for the most part, all of those women had five fingers on each hand. Okay. So definitely seemed like it'd be like a cool movie premise for that too. You would need to really deep dive into whether or not that's AI generated, but that's I mean, five fingers consistently on each hand. I've had already in my mind consistently that breaks the idea that yeah. it's AI generated. And John Wolf on YouTube just put up a really nice video on uh, AI witch hunting, and uh, it's uh, it's it's good. It's a good watch. It's a good watch. But yeah, waiting places. They are definitely going places. Yeah, Out of all they... of the things we've seen on uh, the that we've been informed about from the Ministry of Latent Places, uh, what are you most are you concerned about any of these? Um. Oh, what were the guys that looked the like Slenderman? Slen yes, yeah, the lawyers. I think the, the, the lawyer, Slenderman lawyers were probably are definitely the most worrying. Yeah. There, there was actually a Buffy the Vampire episode in season four. That's very reminiscent of those guys. Yeah. You definitely go watch the episode's called Hush. I think it's like episode 11 of season four of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But go, but go give it a watch because that's it's very similar. Um, yeah. I think little guys are still going to be my favorite. Little guy, everyone needs some little guys in yeah. their life. Yeah. Just because you don't have enough chaos in your life until you've uh, been victimized guy. by the little guys. Little guys. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the little guys are an but absolute trip. That that channel just consistently is good. It's not like a one, you know, one every few videos is good. I feel like every one of those we've watched has been good. That is it for shorts. And again, if you normally have any, uh, if you have any shorts, any uh, clips, anything like that to share that you think would be good for the show for us to check out, uh, go into the into the Macabre channel in the Discord. That's discord.gg slash serve. And uh, let, us, let us know. Let us know about it. Yeah. But we're going to move on and we're going to actually be returning to a channel that we have checked out a few times as an alternative to the normal ones we w we watch and that is mr bizarre bub and this is his scary comp v83 he's an 83 of these that's pretty crazy we've jumped around so much in them too i feel like i think yeah, we did so like 87 or something we've jumped earlier, around a bit so. we've absolutely jumped around a bit <laughs> and there are some videos in this compilation that we've already seen we're going to be skipping over those we'll point out to our best recollection which episode we think we watched it in if you want to go back to the YouTube and see you know oh this is episode what what have you and I uh, just or kinda, you you guys can go through every episode and or find you the guys link can go through down every episode below. And find the link absolutely yeah <laughs> but this is scary comp v83 and we begins to skip. move on its own and a shelf door pops open out of no in this video ending outside their house probably one of my least favorite videos yeah so that, that one we, we watched that one i believe in episode two so if we want to go get yeah. our thoughts on girls dancing and getting spooked by something it's an episode two or three i'm pretty sure it's episode two but it could be episode three i genuinely it's it's tough we we do so many of these we switch our together. format from three three hours to two hours i mean moving forward it'll be easier for us to find things but so let's find out what's going on at this house. Following video, a mother and her two children are standing outside their house after seeing something very alarming. They had just come back from walking outside when something on the second floor window catches their attention. The family couldn't help but record this on the off chance that no one would believe them. Using a flashlight they had brought along to their nightly walk, the family shines the window and sees this. All right, my daughter's room is up there and we keep seeing something. All right, put your flashlight up. I still didn't see it. I didn't see anything there. All right, flash it up there. Oh, oh now it's gone. something was like parting put the blinds and mm. looking at them. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up. Hurry. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it looks like there's still a hand there or something isn't on the window. The yeah, blinds move on their own. But if you look closely, you'll see that no fingers can be seen opening the blinds, let alone a figure behind the shades. Oh, maybe the space it's just appears to be window. empty as if no one is there. Now, the children are definitely spooked by this incident, but not so much the mother, given her calm demeanor in the video. <laughs> it could <laughs> be that this odd occurrence has happened before and thus it if an odd occurrence happened before, you'd be calling the police. I, I'm yeah. pretty sure it was just the mom messing with the kids. Mm-hmm. But, because, like, listen to how she's reacting when the, when she's like, all right, now flash your lights up there, because it, it's 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 a setup to scare the kids. I mean, she's yeah, she was, like, recording. leaning she's into having it, having fun. It, yeah, it she's, on. Yeah. Absolutely. It's... It's like when you get a present for somebody and you know what it is and you're watching them open it, and you're like, yeah, I wonder what it could be, you know? that type of trying to generate that excitement yeah exactly it's 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 cool it's funny it's it's silly and i'm sure your friends on facebook probably think this is hilarious um and yeah no this it's a fun time but if this was real because like this is this i wouldn't label this a paranormal thing i would label that as like a real thing yeah. i'd be like police because if There's i saw my if, i know if i was outside my house and i saw the blinds move and i turned and my wife was right there with me i would call the police yeah, I'm not going in there just nonchalantly after that. Yeah, it's like, there, there's a man. There's a man or something in there. There's an unknown entity, which some people would take as paranormal, but I would take <laughs> it as a as a criminal. Yeah, or it could have been little guys, you know? Oh, shit, yeah, it's little guys. <laughs> explaining why she doesn't seem that faced, but whether or not that's so, 
What happens next further demonstrates this incident as being truly odd. Have a look. Clean your house. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if it'll do it one more time, baby. Put your flashlight up. All right, it. let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Okay, now the demeanor's changed a little bit. Yeah. Here's it's a smidge, though. I just want to show you guys. No one behind the door. Except for the mess. Here's my mother's room. It's a little messy. I'm sorry, but just to show you. A little messy. You, it's super empty. Here's yeah. the closet. I just want to show you. There's nobody Wait, behind. Wait, go in the closet. Nobody this is the closet. fastest pan around a room nobody ever. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Not a single person up here. A mother checks the room and shows that no one's. Isn't it weird how the backside of a room disappeared? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Wes already mentioned the, the panning. We talk about it all the time where people pan around in a weird way to try to make you focus on some things and not focus on other parts. And that's. Ugh. It's a really neat but, trick if you're not looking for it or haven't seen it a whole bunch. Right, absolutely. But. It's there. Even before entering the space, she appears to be certain that no one is up there, as if she's already experienced this before. They did have another little closet up there. Saying, but viewers find this to be pretty strange. If no one had been inside the room, then how were the blinds opening up? And why is it that each time the window is shined, they immediately close back up? With no further context or updates on this odd occurrence, it seems that we may never know what exactly was going on in this video. But as always, oh, you be the judge on what was captured in this footage. I mean, it's it's a fun it's a fun trip, and I will happily call yeah. label as a fun video. Yeah, because you're you're probably like if the kids aren't also in on it, you're probably scaring the living crap out of your kids. I feel like they were a lot calmer than most children would be. Well, when they were outside, they they were gasping. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, if those were real gasps or not, because it, it's children, you can't gauge authenticity from a child sometimes yeah. i feel like they wouldn't have wanted to go in there though like they yeah but wanna... well the mom's very very sternly leading the charge yeah she was like all right f it we're, we're going in so it's like okay i'm gonna stay with mom because she's bolted she beeline straight in yeah the, the, the kids were flew up the stairs as well because we saw the ever kid just in the room uh so it's any number of uh, i mean obviously the whole thing's stage because you wouldn't take your kids into that situation uh yeah. but it, i think it's a fun time and i'm sure whoever their friends with are on, they're on facebook their facebook friends probably they, they got a good kick out of that yeah it's very entertaining and if you saw that on facebook for one of your Definitely one of your but... parent group friends would you would you be like oh haha the debbie's uh, doing a silly thing again i probably would have been up there moving the blinds um, <laughs> that would have been me. Yeah, you, you and Debbie were in on it together. Yeah. Yep. It is. <laughs> Dang it. I'm sorry I ruined the mystery of that video. In the following video, a mother is recording her daughter because of something very concerning that she just said. According to the daughter, someone or something is in the closet moving inside. She was able to capture a glimpse of this movement from the gap beneath the closet door, but couldn't make out who what? or what was in there. Why is there a whole ass mannequin in the room? <laughs> Yeah, that's. I'm more frightened of the mannequin being oh in there. Oh my than... god! Like, I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't want to make a statement on the quality of the home. Maybe like they don't have anything else better going on than do making these kinds of videos. Yeah. Like, look at that door. That door needs a new finish. That door needs some work. Yeah. But I'm that... saying, like, I I know not everyone can be in a situation where they are fully in control of that. But at the same time, what, 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 why do you get a whole ass mannequin in there? This was extremely concerning to the mother, as for a while, they've been dealing with strange occurrences at home. They believe that a squatter is hiding in their house. Now, they had thought this for the longest time, until something pretty creepy happened recently. Although Cheryl, the mother, doesn't exactly say what happened, she now knows that something else is going on in the house. One day, Cheryl is sewing in her room when her daughter, who's playing with her toys right behind her, tells her that something had moved in the closet. She immediately grabs her phone and begins to record. Okay, the man. I, I think this is my biggest pet peeve of 
you know, for me, if I was going to investigate something, I grab the bat. What do you grab if you're going to go investigate yeah, something? something? I'm grabbing some sort of defensive weapon or something. Like, have you ever been in a position where you thought you heard something and you had to go investigate? Yeah. And what was your first reaction? Uh, I checked out a little and then I was like, I'm done. I'll call the cops. But so you're telling me your first reaction. I didn't reaction... Like further invest. Like I wasn't all up in it. And it, my first reaction was definitely not to grab my phone and start recording everything. Um, Thank you. I Thank you. That's all that I wanted to get. That's all I was trying to bait out of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that, that is that's, not my weapon. I'm not defending myself like. <laughs> I know. I know we swore we would start being nicer about some of these kinds of clips where, you know, as long as the ride is fun. But this is what takes me out is the idea of I'm recording right off the bat. And that's it. I'm going to go give, phone first to yeah. investigate. It gives that vibe of uh, the newest Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you know, about canceling. You're going to cancel the the person who's... Also, just real quick side house. note, or, the live chat has confirmed the video of a girl's dancing is in episode three. There you live go. chat, live chat coming in super, super clutch. Again, chat, we chat viewers. We do do this live every other Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern until we say otherwise or make an announcement that it's going to be delayed or changed or what have you. But right now, the schedule is every other Wednesday, so you can be part of a live chat also. Yep. But yeah, I this takes me out immediately. I'm already down a bit, but what, well, maybe the rest of the ride will be enjoyable hey guys um just wanted to jump on really quick because i had to stop sewing my daughter just said that something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately just different noises and stuff she's sewing that's why she I has the mannequins mm -hmm. sew for a living so yeah i'm sure that doesn't already. help with a creep factor yeah that's what you just said there's something underneath that door. Under the closet door. Okay. We're going to save this nice and loudly, so if there's a squatter in there, you hear that we're coming. <laughs> we're talking about investigating, so Mr. Squatter, you better move. Have you ever thought you had a squatter? No. Have you ever known anyone that had a squatter? No. Oh, I, I, I've known someone that had not just a squatter, but they had like a whole group of homeless people can just like frequently breaking into their basement and sleeping down there. Oh. That's did they, weird. Did, did they like finish the basement and it was really nice or something? That no, like set their basement finished... apart from the other basements? No, it wasn't even a finished basement. But I remember this is back in the, when I was actually using Facebook. I remember eventually one day after they were talking about it for a while, they uploaded a video. There were police and uh, they were just leading a, like an army of homeless people out of their basement because they finally like we're fed up and all that stuff i guess uh, i don't know what the situation was exactly but that's i couldn't comprehend that that's just that is crazy insane to me you know, if i if i had a squatter i don't i don't know what i would do i would hope they would at least help clean up a little bit so we talked about we talked about that one that one story from i think it was like uh can't sleep at night reddit does that sound sound familiar? We can't stories that make you not be able to sleep at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Reddit dedicated to that. It's like R slash can't sleep at night or something like that. Where if a guy had a squatter, but the guy was actually like helping him out around the house, and um, he ended up eventually confronting, finding and confronting the guy, and they just kind of came to a mutual situation. But uh, his squatter was helping like take care of a house so i would hope if i ever i mean you know heaven forbid anybody ever have a squatter nobody should ever have that kind of a situation if you need assistance go get assistance but 
if you do, hopefully they're one. not <laughs> malicious. Yeah. R slash no sleep. That could be. Okay. I, I would. Ugh, I I just the, the idea of someone else being in my home using my things without my knowledge. Ugh, yeah. ugh. Yucky. I think that, can I just say, I know we're pausing this a lot. <laughs> I think that was a good payoff. Yeah, the mannequin being there. Opening I... the door and the mannequin just being front and center. Yeah. The, the video could have just ended right there. Boom. Oh, that's, that's Mic amazing. Drop. That's cool. I'm scared. Come on, come on. A creepy I'm looking scared. mannequin begins to sway yeah. on its own before plummeting to the ground. Cheryl and her daughter are left shaken up as neither of them were near the doll when it moved. They were too far to have done anything. Feeling totally baffled, they promptly rush out of the room in a panic frenzy. Now it's worth noting that the reason Cheryl has mannequins in her bedroom is because she now works as a seamstress from home. The mannequins are there to display the dresses that she sews. But viewers believe that the figures are either cursed or haunted. Now Cheryl doesn't really think so, considering that strange things have been happening before she bought the mannequins. Only a few months ago, Cheryl's daughter is playing in her mother's room when this is captured. I like that we're getting more more details she, from this. Yeah, why is she only playing in her mother's room? Yeah. I mean, you can tell it's an older house just from a style yeah. of the doorways. Honestly, everything but the closet is creeping me out in these videos. The mannequins. That girl, that girl just creeped me out there. You just stand there and stare into the closet. The shadow under the door was moving a little bit. Cheryl's daughter walks over to the closet as though she heard a noise come from inside. She seemingly looks around. She didn't to see open what the door the all noise, the way, but finds nothing. Mm -hmm. Feeling it's crazy how that closet door just doesn't open up all the way, you know? Yeah. And did we look at the right side of the closet when we went in there? We did. There was we space did? in there. Okay. There was space in there. There's a lot of space in there. More of enough space to put a person. Is there also we like a spooked. attic area up there? Or something. It looked like it was like a vent. Like it looked like recent work, actually, mm. like recent vent work. Yeah. But if, if this could be an apartment, and if it's not an apartment, it's definitely venting from like downstairs to going up. Um. So there's there is all that. She walks out of her mother's room when all of a sudden this happens. So then, just what exactly was caught on camera? Although Cheryl has yet to say what she thinks. Many believe that something paranormal had occurred. But as with most videos, you be the judge on what was captured here. Was something supernatural caught on camera? Or was something else caught instead? I think that was cool. Yeah, I like the payoff, that. I think the payoff of like seeing a mannequin right there was more than good enough. I, I didn't see where they could have been like having a wire or something to push the mannequin over. Yeah, and the way it, was, it moved was really odd. Like, it wasn't like they just pushed it over or something. Like, it rattled a yeah, little and then a little was, more and then fell over. 
I think it was good product, very good production quality on that. I would say, yeah. Tr whatever trick, it was it was very good. I think it was a very that, very good job. That definitely could have been something out of a Paranormal Activity movie. Oh, absolutely. I think that was a really. I think that was a good video. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, aside from, oh hey, the first thing I'm gonna do is talk out. I'm gonna grab my phone, and start recording, and talking out loud about what we're about to do. Yeah. Outside of that, I think it was a strong video. I don't think we even needed the second clip, but I think it just the second clip just kind of set the stage for. Oh no, this is what it was like pre mannequin. So yeah, it's just they said they've been having a lot of stuff happen. So right, but very interesting, very good, very good, interesting video. At approximately one in the morning, a truck driver was driving down a road that not many drivers take for a certain reason. It is said that driving down this road is dangerous, as many accidents have occurred here before, and tragically, some of those accidents were fatal. Because of this, some believe that the road is cursed and should therefore be closed down permanently, but most drivers, like the one in this video, can't find an alternate route to their destination. They have no choice but to take this one. On August 18 of 2023, there's Gas always a better route. Like, yeah, there's always another route. And something pretty creepy happened. The two drivers are listening to some cheerful music to make their commute less frightening, <laughs> when out of nowhere, they capture this. What did we got there? Yeah. Down the road, there appears to be a moving figure darting across the dirt path before suddenly disappearing from sight. It seems that neither driver had noticed the mysterious figure during this recording. Oh, yeah, well, you could see after something watching this clip that they before. were left totally spooked. Yeah, like the whole time they were driving, you could see it in the distance. Yeah. yeah. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't like the whole. Oh, we didn't, we, we didn't see it until we watched the video back. Why are you watching the video back? Why are you taking that video? Why are you taking the video? Oh, yeah. George over here is dancing, so I'm going to just record walk him. his dancing slash driving skills. Yeah, his, look at his look at his truck driving reggaeton dance. It's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty okay, look how good he is. So much talent in one man. Must have been <sighs> for like his dating profile or something. You know? <laughs> who, or whatever this is, just seems to come out of nowhere and then vanish before crossing over to the road. Knowing the history of this route and the fatal accidents that have happened here, some believe that this might have been the spirit of a deceased victim who is still roaming about. But whether ghost or not, the footage alone is pretty strange. Just how he exactly went and ducked did this behind mysterious figure disappear from something. sight? Because of how dark it is, there's yeah. something there, like a bush or a barrier or something. Because of how dark it is, we can't really see it, so if we... You know, with uh, orientation of a camera and everything, and how the truck is, you if they get to that point and it looks like they just disappear. So, yeah, you know, the fact that like he's an animal or yeah, the fact that he's he's recording this on a Motorola, so it makes it even more hard to <laughs> figure out. You know, yeah. How come every person records horror? Like it's either if if it's the better the camera, the more obviously fake it is, and then the worse the camera is, the crazier the scenario is. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I can get away with it. Yeah, exactly. It's, I don't. I don't know, man. Jesus. Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive answer as to what was captured in this footage. Anything else on that one? No. Yeah. All right. I kind of figured. Yeah, I didn't care for it too much. <laughs> but oh, hey, shit happens. Maybe somebody else likes it. You find that? Yeah, yeah exactly. Never. We're just kind of desensitized to it, I think. We are a little bit desensitized, so, but we can definitely enjoy the idea of some of the stuff. Yeah. In this next video, a man named Bobby is watching a scary movie when a sudden noise is heard from inside his home. What are those dolls? That's the scary movie. Why do you have like, that in your house? Why we got these people going like, oh man, I wonder why my house is haunted. You look around and that's what's sitting around. Yeah. Perfect. As it turns Manic. out, the noise had come from the cabinet behind Bobby. Feeling a bit spooked, he continues to record the case as he has a hunch that something is about to happen. 
This cabinet, as Bobby states, is haunted. Now this wouldn't be the first time that something like this has occurred. In previous videos, which I featured before, Bobby has documented things that he considers this to be guy. paranormal nature. Oh no, that you now it makes guy? sense. It makes oh, sense now. We've seen this guy, I think it was in episode four, maybe? This guy had a ton of porcelain clowns. Yeah. Oh. From his daughter's toys turning on by themselves, to bedroom doors seemingly opening on their own, something about this place just doesn't seem right. So wait, wait, he had something happen in his daughter's room while she was asleep and he just backed out and left her in <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Gotta look out for number one. He's good. She's sleeping, oh she doesn't God. know. Nah, get out of here, man. It appears that something highly unusual is taking place in Bobby's apartment, but just when things seem to be settling down, the following takes place. While being home alone and- You ever think he just talks to his neighbors and goes like, are you guys also haunted or is it just me? I, I feel like he definitely does. He gives off that vibe. He would talk to the neighbors and be like, <laughs> is this just a me thing or are you guys too? What's, what's the deal here? He's got like a flyer up on the community board down in the lobby. Like, is anybody else? having paranormal activity here <laughs> rip, rip take little table number yeah. please call <laughs> please call me to confirm call me to talk about how haunted we are yeah <laughs> and watching a scary movie this happens since i started him recorded also i don't i i don't want to be too mean about the gamer chair especially because that i i know this brand only because friend of a channel archie tv is actually partnered with them and has his own chair for them nice but holy mother <laughs> of third party chairs oh no chat live chat once again corrected us uh the first time we watched this porcelain doll guy it was actually in episode two for some reason we thought it was much later uh for some i don't know if, if you want to go try to survive a, the three hour versions of this show <laughs> Uh, before we made the decision to change it to two hours, go check out episode two. Episode two also has by far our favorite video of all time. Yeah. Um, it was only an honorable mention. And it was only an honorable mention in Nuke's top five. Man, what's wrong with that guy? But let's find out what's going on with the guy who bought the Arazi chair. Stop. And our neighbors and all that move, so I know it's not them. Oh, he doesn't have neighbors. Okay. And I hear footsteps again. Please leave me alone. Yo. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yo. Look at the towel. Yo. Does it look like there might be something getting tugged under the towel on the left side? Maybe Yo. go back one more time. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, Chad's yeah, pointing it right. out, and it happened. I mean, I agree with Chad on this one that my chair does that sometimes too. Yeah. Chad, here's a motor. There was definitely some extra sounds in there. There was, and they weren't all coming from like one side. Like some of them were from the left, and some from yeah. the right. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the way this guy reacts, he's like. 
great. He's like a, a let's player every time something mm -hmm. happens, or just stream every Yo. time something happens. Yo! The ghost is about to mess me up! Yo! Really waiting for me, like, chat, look at this. Uh, okay, chat's insisting there was a motor sound, so I'm just gonna put play back one more time. Yo. <laughs> I don't know, the chime, the chime is piped in. Yeah. The chime is piped in. Very opportune Yo. time to put that. Can you also imagine just standing around recording your chair? <laughs> and it had to have been for a little bit because it had to go to five times speed. Yeah, did he just want people to know he had a gamer chair? <laughs> Guys, I that play video games. <laughs> Yo. There's some extra movement next to him. Six times. Whoa, six times speed. <laughs> Yo. Maybe the ghost wants you to clean up your space. Yeah. Three times speed. We're not going as fast. <laughs> the <laughs> We're going too fast, Captain. <laughs> You do it again? I was like, all right, <laughs> yeah. just for you. I'm good. Just yeah, for man, you, buddy. Man. It looked like we were like losing some it's focus there and again. video looked kind of wonky. I mean, he's doing it from a phone, very clearly yeah. a phone. While doing his best to remain calm, Bobby captures footage <laughs> of the cabinet doing something on That's its own. Best. The doors on the cabinet begin to rattle, as if someone was trying to pry them open, and shortly after, the sound of the latch being released from the cabinet door is heard. To Bobby, it seems that something supernatural is happening with the cabinet, or at least the space it's in, as other nearby objects started moving on their own. To this day, Bobby continues to experience strange happenings at home, and just hey, like previous space. occurrences, this one has left him beyond spooked. Does that even have latches on it? Yeah, I'm not. It, it's it not didn't look clear. like it had those latches up top. I mean, it, it's, it's definitely capable. I think it's absolutely capable of making those noises. It's just a matter of of how. I mean, granted, he's like focusing the camera on specific objects for like a minute or two at a time. <clears throat> so anything else could be happening on the side because he has a daughter. So she, I, I obviously she's in on it. Yeah. In fact, I he's, think that willing, was like, he's willing to leave a daughter alone in the room while the ghost is coming to get him. So I, 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 I think the, the daughter's in on it. Hey, you know, you only got to be faster than the slowest person to get away from the ghost. Yeah, exactly. Look out for number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, what, 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 what's your take? I, I, I think I he's having those. fun. He's having fun. Yeah, I enjoy those um, a lot. There, some parts, you know, might be obviously faked or whatever, or it could be very easily faked, but I think they're still entertaining videos. Um, especially like it's different things all the time. Different things moving. It's not like he's doing the same bit over and over and over. Yeah, absolutely. It's true. I mean, live chat's pointing out if a ghost gets him, then we get no content. Exactly. He's looking out for all of us. Exactly. He's looking out for Bizarre Bub and Nuke's top five, and more, most importantly, being some macabre boys. Yeah. We appreciate him for that. In the city of Krugerstorp, South Africa, a mysterious video was filmed by a real estate agent who was touring a property for sale. It isn't known if the house in this video has been sold yet, but considering what happens in this clip, it may just be that no one will be buying this house anytime soon. Apparently, something very freaky was caught on camera. Take a look.
I mean, it makes sense that all the doors will be open if it's a real estate agent. Yeah. Oh, yo! That sounds like that other guy. No, don't play it off like you didn't just see that. <laughs> don't you dare! After watching the video, the real estate agent was shocked to see that someone was in the house. Oh, they don't on, recall ever seeing anyone else inside, but apparently, based on the footage, someone was there. Or, so it seems. Looking at the video again, it appears that whoever this was just suddenly disappears. As quickly as they appear, they vanish without a sign. Although How many times is he, is he going to tell us if a person just disappeared? He's saying it in every... Dude, it has got a thesaurus in front of him. And he's just plugging away at all the different ways he could say if a person showed up and disappeared. The person was just gone with a wind. Yeah. They cease to exist. But I don't think this is a good real estate agent, because... Why are they looking up a whole damn house? They just went in and went out in two different ways and it's like there's more rooms yeah this is the worst like virtual we panned tour. over to the kitchen but didn't go into the kitchen it's a terrible virtual tour and he also took a deep breath when he uh when he what walked outside so yeah like, like maybe they did see it and they were trying not to be scared because somebody was actually well, in there he's, he's or claiming he, or... i mean they're claiming oh i didn't see them yeah until i saw him watch the video like oh okay Bad. Yeah, What's and that just might be thing? the story that was submitted with this video. You know, maybe it's not from the original person. Maybe somebody just took it and added that story on it. Well, okay. yeah, live chat is is pointing out the things we normally point out, like how convenient mm -hmm. it is that that one corner of a house was pretty dang dark. Wow, crazy. Yeah. You believe that something paranormal was caught on camera. But of course, I'll leave it to you to decide if that's so. Just who or what was inside this house? If you I mean, I, I don't know of a who because I don't know of a guy on a personal yeah. level. <laughs> and you know, whatever, I guess. All right, let's find out what goes on next. On March 20th of 2023, a very peculiar video was uploaded by a grandmother who was looking over at the footage captured by her doorbell camera. The recording was taken late at night when no one at home had been awake. So according to the grandma, whatever was caught on camera couldn't have been her nor her spouse who resides with her. Now the house they live in isn't thought to be haunted as nothing strange or unexplainable has occurred there before. If anything unusual was happening, they would forbid their grandchildren from coming over. But despite having doubts that strange things would ever happen, they captured this. It's around 3.20 in the morning when their doorbell camera records something pretty creepy. Take a look. One of the grandkids. Yeah. It's raining out. It appears that a small white figure dashes out the front door before disappearing into the dark. But then, moments later, something else appears. Why are these channels always gonna be like they disappear into the dark? Off the trash. They were pulling a trash can. <laughs> That's what that was. Like, watch, watch when they show it. It's somebody pulling their trash can to the curb. The silhouette can be seen just a few feet away, moving in a or taking the trash out as if it was floating above ground. Naturally, I thought it was a character in a dress holding the dress up. Oh, I swear that's what it is. I, I would believe you if it's like taking I thought out that a trash first, bag. but like it made sense, like either taking out a trash bag or like you know taking the recycling and the trash bin down to the curb. Its uncanny movement has left the grandparents beyond spooked, but they were more concerned about seeing their front door open as if someone or something was in their place. Although they can't seem to explain the events of that night, they've taken safety measures to ensure no one or nothing breaks into their house. Yet still, the question remains, who or what had been inside their home, and just what in the world was this? And that noise that we thought was rain could have been the wheels on oh, the pavement. Oh yeah, that's, no, that's you're absolutely right. Yeah, it could just be someone taking up a trash. Granted, I, I mean, the first 
figure was where appeared to be wearing something light or white. Yeah. And the second figure, I mean, granted, if her out in the dark, that may be lost. But it, that's the two options: is it, it was a person taking up the trash, or is someone just messing with them? Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that's what the first thing was. The first thing could have been a kid, and that was the parent taking the trash out. Yeah. I don't know. Any but number of things. Yeah. As usual, it's any number of things. All right, let's find out what number one is. In this last video, two friends are playing with a doll that, according to them, does something pretty strange. The video starts off with both friends playing with the doll, hoping it would do the thing that it usually does. However, while recording the figurine, they notice that its eyes are a different color. For some reason, its blue eyes, initially seen at the start of the clip, are now completely black. They continue to record the doll when this is captured. Why well, have your eyes got to be more blurry the second time? Why yeah. Why she turned blue? this way. Why? I've seen that. Look at this. She's Look at her eyes. How old are they? I don't know. Have they playing with this creepy ass She's possessed black. doll? Her eyes are like Maybe this blue. is the activity after too much bingo and See? margaritas yeah. or something. Yeah. How do they Margarita? get it so out of focus? Look, that fan is still blowing and she's stopping. See? Mm. See? Yeah. That's so creepy. Yeah, it is. Those are creepy. She won't stand anywhere else on the table. No, I've tried it three or four places up here and she won't do it. Let's see something. I'm going to fall off. Oh, I did, oh, not, do, I did not do that. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Somehow, the doll turns by itself after being moved around. According to them, it seemingly doesn't like being placed in a certain spot. It's for this reason that it turns away on its own. Now the friends have tried explaining this, but it seems that nothing plausible comes to mind. They have no clue as to how the doll moved on its own. Unfortunately, with no further info on this video, it seems that this incident will remain a mystery. But aside from this encounter, there's no denying that the doll's appearance is pretty creepy. Paranormal or not, this doll has to be the stuff of nightmares. So, I mean, it's the stuff of nightmares just because of how it looks in general. I would throw it out, first of all. Um, second of all, it might have been one of those little, like, you know, wind-up dolls. Because the way the feet moved when it turned, it looked like that same motion. From, like, those little toys that you wound up and they'd stomp and turn in a circle. It almost looked like a Hummel. Are you aware of Hummel dolls? No. Oh, it's a brand or type of weird, creepy doll that has like giant black eyes and a big mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're mostly associated with Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, so it kind of gave me Hummel doll vibes, but yeah, I... I the eyes were super out of focus. We don't know the order of those two clips and how it's like just wiggling and doing things. Like, I, don't know. I, I think it's just two bored old ladies just having fun with their Facebook yeah. friends. I mean, it's interesting concept. I'm sure Ethel and Bethel down at the home or down at Bingo are absolutely mortified after they saw mm -hmm. that. Just think, you know, all you two can can also do things like this after you retire when you have all the time in the world yep that's what you can do just make just play with your demon doll and scare your facebook friends i'm so glad i don't use facebook anymore do you still use facebook no i open it randomly for no reason and then just close it uh, yeah i don't actively scroll on it like anytime no. i actually end up on it i'm like i don't recognize or talk to any of these people like hang if, on. that and then it takes too long like not too long and you get all these clickbaity articles and stuff i'm like oh yeah now i don't yeah, i remember why not, i don't scroll through this facebook's not a social site anymore it's a it's an ad platform mm -hmm. but whatever that's that was bizarre bub's scary comp v83 there's some good stuff in there yeah it's not so good stuff but we're gonna go back to the mvp 
we're gonna go back to our good friend nukes top five this is the top 10 scary videos of wtf is that what the f is that a plus for the title as always and uh we will be skipping around a little bit because there's a few videos in here that we've already seen uh but we're still gonna go ahead because there's a bunch of stuff in here we haven't seen so let's get ripping Father chris from fargo north dakota says that his four-year-old son has been behaving very strangely he says that over the last three or four days the child has said that he just doesn't want to go in the bedroom because he says quote there's a monster in there Obviously, Chris just dismissed these claims as a child's overactive imagination. But then, one night at around 2 a.m., the boy is fast asleep in bed when something happens that Chris and his wife simply can't explain. Blood run cold. What? Uh, that's... That's what they couldn't explain, was that the yeah, video... Yeah, I have a video Obviously, Chris skips just dismissed 10 minutes. these claims <laughs> as a child's overactive imagination. But then... One night at around 2 a.m., the boy is fast asleep it's in bed. It's a live show. Something happens that Chris and his wife... <laughs> it's, it's a live, sh live production stuff happens. Something <laughs> truly shocking. In accordance with YouTube guidelines, no one was injured in this footage. Yeah, in case anyone didn't know, you, you, you can't actually put on, like... real. You're not supposed to really show real, real crimes or actual bodily harm happening on youtube it's against it is against tos so yeah, these disclaimers like, are important like back in the day you know when we were surfing what like rotten.com <laughs> you oh, know no. yeah <laughs> the boy cries out when he appears to get shoved out of bed by some invisible force. Chris says that his son cried out in shock, but thankfully, the boy was okay and completely unharmed. Chris says that the previous owner of their house passed away right in the living room, and he wonders if this tragic history has anything to do with what's happening to their son. Hold the door. So, how do the parents just teleport in? I mean, I get like you hear your kid having a problem and you move as fast as you can, but the door swings open really quickly after and then they immediately cut. It says yeah. it appears. Right in the living room. And he wonders if the boy was okay and completely unharmed. Chris says that. I don't know, unless yeah, the, door like, the, door just, right. the boy was okay. Well, and the door kind of is cracked open there. Chris says that. The and then the door opens. Yeah. Yeah, but I I think I, I agree with live chat. It looks like there's a very previous possible owner cut of their in house there. passed away right in the living room, and he wonders if this tragic history has any. It definitely looks like there is a weird cut. right there. Thing to do. Maybe not. Yeah, it's I mean, right like, then. Right when that hits the floor, that's when the door cracks open. Anything yeah, watch the door. Do yeah, I'm not too sure. I mean, it doesn't even look like there's anything in the sheet. No. Like, you don't see the- you don't actually see the kid. I mean, like, that doesn't look like a kid flying through the air. But then something is moving on the floor, so it's- it's possible. That's that's weird. That's that's super weird. There's a there's ways of doing that. I mean, there's maybe maybe they are cursed. Maybe the ghost is there. Yeah, I can't really say like really hate on any specific thing in that. You know, to pick it apart. Oh no, one hundred percent. I I agree with that. I mean, yeah, something is, that's that's more of a shock value one than like you know oh, I'm putting this up on Facebook to make my friends have a yeah goal. exactly. That's 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 because there's some there's some shock value in there. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. I mean, part of it. I'm sure you could break it down really easy and just kind of you know, try to figure out where where the cuts are and everything. But it's a really interesting concept. The door. A woman named Nadine has been experiencing this... some very strange and unexplained events in, Did we, is this in her home we saw? in Alabama. Yeah, we saw. Okay, we've seen mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. This, I think this is episode five, four or five. 
Uh, basically, there's the, the girl thinks the little girl thinks there's a ghost in the house. A dog growls at stuff. Uh, nothing of any real context happens. Yeah, this is the clip we we yeah. seen. Okay, um, I. I and it's another it's one of. Them. It's another one of the ones where I'm gonna grab my phone and start recording first uh, before I actually take action. The little girl doesn't want to go in the room. She goes and looks in the room. Nothing happens. Little girl cries. Little girl is upset about it, but that's fine because now we're gonna go to episode four. It is episode four. <laughs> right, we got our we got our official fact checker <laughs> in the live chat tonight. It was episode four. I knew it was episode four or five. It's tough when we are mostly watching these in compilations and then having to go off of memory of which compilation it is. When we have we have the links up on YouTube of the compilations that we are watching. Uh, so you can watch along, you can skip along. So if you want to go rewatch that, the compilation links some in the information below, or you can go watch episode four and watch us react then. And do that. On the farm. I like that. I do like that idea better. Yeah. Tasha D and her husband move into an 1840s farmhouse in rural upstate New York. The happy couple begins to renovate their new home, but soon Tasha begins to experience some very unsettling and unexplained events. These strange incidents only seem to occur when Tasha is home alone, so her husband is a bit skeptical. So one day, a picture frame in the house inexplicably falls to the floor. Tasha grabs her phone and starts to record in hopes of proving to her husband that something's just not quite right in the old farmhouse. See, and you think I'm crazy. The first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor. Very nice looking house. Yeah. We have a den off to the side. But soon start to get even the den is weirder. cursed because the family <laughs> dogs begin to act. The ghost really den. Strange. Why are you running? My house is haunted and the ghosts are mostly nice, but they try to scare my dog. She runs away, backs up, hides like they hit her. Oof. Hmm. But I like, I like the disclaimer, the ghosts are mostly friendly. Yeah. Casper and, Casper and the gang. It must be his uncles that don't like the dog. Another day, and Tasha is recording a candid video of her dogs to post to Snapchat when this happens. Look at them destroying the living room over one toy. <laughs> Silly. Right after posting the video to Snapchat, a worried friend reaches out to Tasha to warn her about what seems to be a strange shadow like figure moving up the wall right beside Aww. her dogs. Tasha has no idea what the creepy shadow could be, so she shares her story to TikTok, hoping to find answers. The video soon grabbed the attention of millions of concerned TikTok viewers who wonder if Tasha might have awakened a paranormal presence by renovating the 180-year-old farmhouse. And then, Bruh. one night... You gotta, uh, you, the ghost gotta understand. Modernization and keeping the place alive. Like, come on. What kind of boomer ass logic ghost is him like, no, you can't renovate. It needs to be preserved, pristine preserved, but it's like, it doesn't stay pristine and it falls over, man. And like, just the thing that just got me there is like, I'm all for, you know, if you want to submit like actual paranormal evidence that you think it is, you know, and that could be so easily discounted with the fact that there's obviously a window over there to the right that we all just jump to believe, yeah, it's a ghost without thinking logically at all. Like that just bugs me so much. <laughs> at least go through a couple things, you know, like obviously <laughs> that's something moving outside the window, creating that shadow because they're on a farm. So I'm assuming there's a bunch of like open area. So the wind goes through there really good. Maybe there's a tree out there, moves the branch down. Boom, there's a shadow that looks like it crawls up the wall. So you're, you're mad of a lack of logic. 
It's injected yeah. into these things. Like, it just, well, not like just the video. Like, I don't hate the video or the person who made the video. Or what, it's just the, the bandwagoning on that it's 100% paranormal. When it's like one of the most easily disproven things. No, I'll, I'll agree with that. I'll, I'll bite on that. It's, it's... That's my issue. I mean, if you present it as... Am I haunted? Then the audience is immediately going to latch on to... Oh, girl, you so haunted! Yeah, yeah. I just after midnight, someone rings Tasha's doorbell. Oh, ding dong ditch! the security camera, what she sees chills her to her core. So they have a flood, a floodlight or a porch light or something. Oh, hello. Shadow people. Live chat, live chat. Do you have you, any of you experienced shadow people? Give us your best shadow people stories. dark shadow can be seen moving towards the outside deck chair and appears to just take a seat. It then gets up, moves away towards the right, and disappears. Why well, don't we sit in for like so two Tasha minutes? Her family move yeah. seconds. The farmhouse? Could the renovations be upsetting a lingering paranormal presence, causing it to act out? Let me know what you think. <laughs> so, what, what, there's a lot to digest there. Like, I mean, if she's claiming the ghost is nice, which implies the ghost hasn't done anything bad, except for scare her dogs. Yeah. But then it's it's starting to show signs of getting angry. Look, that doorbell thing is weird. The way that moving. Yeah. Why? Like, why only get to sit down for two seconds? Yeah. It's so weird. And, and I, would it, think, it, I like, mean, slamming whatever. doors kind of aggressive too. Yeah, what, and whatever was there triggered the floodlight or the porch light. So there, there was something there, unless like the whole setup is you just manually turned it on and then recorded. But or you could see there was another light like far out, mm -hmm. and maybe that light was casting a shadow on something closer to it because it, yeah. it looked like a really powerful light. Yeah, there, uh, there's a billion explanations. We're not even necessarily trying to debunk it. No. I mean, hell, it, yeah, and chat's pointing out it could have been an animal, it could have been a raccoon, it could be anything could trigger the floodlight and trigger the camera recording. Yeah. Unless you have your settings in a weird way, but... Any number of things. I, I think it's a neat concept. And then it only happens when she's alone, though. I don't know, it's, it's weird. Definitely a weird, neat concept. That's how usually haunted places are, right? Mm-hmm. It's they pick and choose. Or... Yeah, they will pick and choose when they do the hauntings. All right, let's imagine. I think this is one we're skipping. Yeah. So this is this one. There was a a hand or something moving in this dirty, dirty closet. Um, it's not really a lot to go off of here. Just a little girl was playing outside. Came in. There's just a messy ass closet in the bottom on the landing of this. It looks like an apartment Eight. landing. I believe we watched this in episode one or two, maybe possibly three, but I think it was two or three. Um, but yeah, there's, you, the payoff is you see you see a hand move that in the closet, <laughs> and that's really that's really it. Yeah, see, there's the hand. What what? But that's that's really it for that one. But we're gonna actually see what walks in the woods. Walks in the woods. Reddit user No Recognition 1998 says that this video was caught on a trail cam, 20 miles out into the Idaho woods in the middle of nowhere. Now there is no reason that anyone would be this far out. We just touch back on that other on that other video for farm chat pointed out. Ghost only responds to people that are alone. Yeah. Maybe Phas <laughs> Phasmo, they were they were onto something. Yeah, she should have had the book out for it to write, you know? Yeah, I didn't bring the ghost book. I didn't, didn't, I didn't the... see freezing temps, so I think that yeah. rules out a gin, right? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> out in these isolated woods at this time of night. 
So what is this? What is that? Holy crap! Someone e or something walks past a forest trail cam at 4.37 in the morning in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere. Curious Reddit viewers point out that this strange humanoid figure just looks kinda off. They say it's perhaps not even human at all as it seems to have very pale skin, thin frail- I mean, it's wearing pants! Yeah, arms, it's either like- a long neck. I don't know. Now, is this a very lost and very strange person wandering around the remote woods of Idaho? Or is oh, it? Oh, that, that's why it's Idaho! Mm-hmm. It looks like it, there's some sort of like jacket tied around their waist too. Yeah, exactly. I, I would believe else. it was a person and because I of the, the, the light, I'm very, very clearly, uh, they're staying on the path. Yeah. A creature wouldn't necessarily, I mean, they might stay on the path, but because a path, you're anything, it's nature of a live being to stay on a path. But they wouldn't necessarily stay perfectly on a path like that. Like, and it looks like they're looking around. God. Yeah, it looks like they're just beelining, you know? Yeah. Maybe it's somebody stealth camping, you know? <laughs> Strange person wondering. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it looks really bizarre. I would be willing to believe, like, because of the way the lighting works and all that stuff, how there's, like, just very minimal lighting and the person, this might just, we might only be seeing whatever is reflective that the person is yeah. wearing as well. And we're, like, we're not trying to, I know we're kind of in debunk mode, but, because like, I don't want to subscribe to, it's an alien. Because in my, in my mind of minds, the only explanation for something this weird would be, it's an alien, but that's not... I don't subscribe to this being an alien walking the Idaho walking trail. Yeah. I think it could be a backpack that makes it, you know, look weird. Which I'm sure somebody would have if they were out there walking around in the woods. It's yeah, and like Idaho. you said, it does look like they have something tied around their waist, like a, a jacket or a sweatshirt tied mm -hmm. around their waist. Or They're probably wearing, they are else. probably wearing I bright pants and the jacket could also be bright, which is why we see them. We don't see everything else as well because Wait, so that's I I think it's just like obviously if I if I was working the wh whatever camera system and I saw this I'd be like whoa, but then I would put more than five seconds of logic into it and be like oh yeah we yeah uh, we have other cameras where we can clearly see a person walking around. So yeah, it's just a trail cam in the middle of the woods. So <laughs> just a trail cam. Yeah, lurking in the darkness. Now, this so that person was just doing popular video was suggested so much, probably yeah. close to a thousand times. There was really no choice but to feature it here on Nuke's top five. So Dustin Frazier says that he works the night shift at an allegedly haunted hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. One night, Dustin is recording a Snapchat video to send to his friend when something happens that makes his blood run cold. I just got to work and I feel like, ugh, like all day today, I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little oh, bit. I felt yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it, it sounds piped in. Like, yeah, it sounds like generic doctor, but like ghost person, voice. Just, like, not as bad as test. not as bad as when we had this is a test. The, the test theme, <laughs> WWE's test theme, pipe in, but it does sound it sounds very much piped in. Yeah. And I don't really know why. Like, I have tried to, oh. like, take see that? medicine for Did you it, see stuff, it? But I, I, I think this know. is a it clever video. Really yeah. Um, but if you wanted to. Besides the piped in voices, like, I think this is very clever so far. Because it's, it's the, the concept of dude just walking around doing a Snapchat and just going yeah. on and on somebody could that, it's relatable it's relatable it can happen you know people that do this just swing by um and say hey like you could oh i can't see i also hate that they always keep this room so dark like come on now 
but it's more cool. I like the figures anyways. behind them. Yeah, if you wanted to yeah. stop on, say. Because, like, in these situations, I think it's more acceptable that they didn't see it. Like, you know, I know, like, we were, we said an example earlier where, how did you not see it? Well, yeah, so when, exactly. the when the whole focus is on the thing that you should absolutely see in front of you, it's one thing. But when you're just in in social media world, this is like the, the stuff of kids walking around the street texting and getting hit by cars. Yeah. This is that same situation. So I 100% am excusing them not seeing like, the things well, that are Tim, I think he's them. just like holding it up, you know with the video on but you see like he's looking where he's going and it's not like he's staring at the camera the whole time exactly which if he was he would have seen the thing like oh shit yeah because i know i, I would have if i was watching the camera i'd be like oh crap and now we're no. building that suspense like is he gonna see it is he gonna notice oh hey then, you know you could but yeah i'm just chilling throughout the video strange voices and whispering can be heard I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little bit I had to like take that sort of thing. Um, and I also hate that they always keep this room so fucking dark. Like, come on now. But creepiest of all, something can be seen standing in the shadows yeah, that's just behind that. Yeah, that's actually crazy. Not once, but twice. Some dark figure with a distorted skeletal face. Now at the time I'm recording oh, this, story, this video has gained a massive Man, I wish I enjoyed Sleep Token. I tried I tried listening because like so many people yeah. kept telling me about Sleep Token. I enjoy it. It just them. sounds it just sounds like Breaking Benjamin to me. If I want to go listen to Breaking Benjamin, I'll go listen to Breaking Benjamin. I could get that from it, yeah. So, thank you. Alright, someone finally gets it. Audience of over 19 million viewers making it the most popular and most suggested video. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You Who cares? It's good. It's entertaining. It's good. This was a good one. Videos. So if you see a scary video, calm, caught on camera. All right, so no, that's a good video. That's a good video. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I really enjoyed that very one. Very simple. Big, very simple, very cool. Right. Even though you said something about the piped in voices, like it's still. But the piped in voices was kind of whatever, but yeah. I think the, what made it was just the characters behind them. And, mm -hmm. and, and I feel like in a situation like that, you you may have actually legitimately not noticed. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's go find out what was caught on camera. Camera. Reddit user Justin says that he and his family recently bought and moved into a historic 1800s terrace house in London, England. But during renovations, Justin says his doorbell security camera caught something really creepy. Oh, all right. A whole person. No, that's just a straight up person. No, that's just a straight up person. Yeah. Around 10 p.m. at night, someone or something can be seen quickly taking a peek at Justin's front door. Then whoever or whatever it is appears to walk past the car in the driveway before disappearing off camera. Now, with the house's 200-year history, Justin is worried that his renovations might have triggered some paranormal presence to act no. out. But worried Reddit viewers warned Justin that he might be dealing with something even scarier. A trespassing stranger that is scoping out his house for unknown reasons. Yeah. So is thank this a you. Ghost? So this is the first time, you just said thank you, because this is yeah. the very first time even Nukes is not insinuating that this is a ghost. He's insinuating this is a real person. Now that we're at a point where we're finally all in agreement, agreement that because of a bad lighting and a bad camera, what appears to be a shadowy ghost-like figure is actually a person. That's just how easy it is. It's that damn easy. We look back at the, the, the jogger on that path. It's that damn easy. Like and that, I feel like that's scarier too. So make casing out your house. Yeah, one hundred percent. And again, we talk about it all the time, guys. Keep your doors locked. Have something to help you in case of an emergency, and just be careful because you people are 
the most unpredictable elements every time. A real and potentially dangerous person. Mm -hmm. You decide. I mean, that's that, something like that. That's real. That can yeah. happen. And that's why it's so scary is because it can happen. The porch light, porch lights are very good as well. I know my, I, my back porch light, anytime a car drives by, it goes off and it lights up the whole front of a house. So you know what? Yeah. That's a deterrent. Every deterrent helps. But of course, even with, you can have a billion deterrents in the world. You never, someone can still be malicious enough to throw every ounce of caution to the wind and still go for it. But still, you know, every deterrent helps. You can be lucky and just have someone could be trying to do something malicious in your area and a porch light could be enough to scare them away. Who knows? I don't know. Or, you know, maybe they saw that ring camera and then backed off and then tried to act like they were walking by or something. Mm hmm. Absolutely. And we're just going to keep on gonna keep on trucking for the next few minutes and uh, see what happened what, to make someone frozen in fear. Frozen in fear. In this creepy video, a woman begins recording when her dog refuses to come back inside their house. The dog seems frozen in place and refuses to even look back at his owner as she calls to him. Nigel, what are you doing? Yeah, that's that's scared dog position. Nigel. That's 100% scared dog position, right? Yeah, it looks like ears are back. Because it's like ready to pounce. Oh, is this an animal? The dog appears to be frozen in fear as it stares at something behind the shed in their backyard. When the woman slowly looks around the corner, her heart almost stops as she sees two creepy glowing eyes staring right back at her. Is that, is that where it cuts? Now the video abruptly ends here and was Aww. posted to the internet by social media outlets that been a just don't bother to raccoon. credit the source. So with no explanation, it's hard to say exactly what's going on here. Yeah, like you said, it could be any number of wild animals and the dog could just be in like, just full on protection mode, ready to pounce, ready to jump whatever this is, and this thing could be more scared than the dog. But obviously, this is not something what? you want to you want to go out and see. No. I know when my oh, mom takes oh, her when my mom takes her bulldog out, she occasionally sees like raccoons and skunks and stuff or other random animals. I mean, she just prays she doesn't have to deal with it. Yeah. So I think ultimately, like, this is just a, an, an example of guys take what Bring your dogs in at night. Granted, that's what this woman's trying to do. She's trying to bring the dog in. But it's just a reminder. You really got to bring the, the pets in at night. Don't leave your pet outside, especially overnight. Because, like, what if something has rabies and gets your dog? Like, that's... Mm, you don't want that. Yeah. People take dogs, too, which is terrible. Yeah, I don't, I, don't think this, I don't think this is a monster or anything. It could be a bad situation, but it could also be something more basic. Like, that could just be a raccoon... And it's absolutely mortified right now and wants to get out, but the dog is, it knows Predator is about to. Yeah. So any, any number of, any number of things there. But the dog's freaked out reaction is strange. So just what do you think this dog is seeing looking back from the darkness? Cursed. Not a monster, not, no. not a monster. <laughs> Very basic, but it's another. It, it can be a scary situation. It probably is. I mean, if I was an if I was a woman in my like you know middle aged woman, I'd probably if I saw somebody, I'd be like, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, I I would be like, oh shit. Yeah, I'd you be know? like turning my flashlight on. I mean, again, I got like foxes walking down the street and gophers in my backyard. I guess a gopher that goes in my backyard every day, and I, we just watch it eat our lawn and we're like oh hell yeah little guy <laughs> well, yeah and the other day we were going yeah. we were going we we're going out i don't know if i told the story on stream we're going out and we're unlocking the door and we a fox is just walking down the street casually like it just like a person like a person that's, that's going out on a walk it sees us and it just goes up our neighbor's driveway i was like <laughs> i love it that's <laughs> it was awesome it's just so casual you know i would never have gotten this back in boston hi guys i'm not in boston no. anymore but I still got that Boston in me. <laughs> but man, it's crazy stuff. 
Shout out to the chief. Um. Such a shout out to the chief. A young woman in Japan claims that her grandmother kept a cursed photo album locked in one of her cupboards. The woman believes that her grandmother might have dabbled in dark magic and that the cursed photo album and her grandmother's strange rituals might have led to her grandfather's strange unexplained death 12 years earlier. Her grandfather allegedly took his own life inside the home, but the circumstances were very suspicious. The young woman says that for her part, she once viewed the cursed album herself, but that she became seriously ill immediately afterwards. All right. Yeah. Huh. He's just like a uh, cult. The young woman's grandmother has passed away, pictures? but she is still afraid of the home and the creepy photo album. She asked anonymous paranormal investigator Kaneko to remove and destroy the album, warning him that everyone who views the photo album becomes ill and that some of her family even believes that the cursed album can possess the viewer. So Kaneko explores the old abandoned home and finds the album, but he too starts to become ill and is forced to quickly leave the house, leaving behind both his phone and camera as he dashes out. YouTube channel Fourth Wall is contacted and asked to retrieve his equipment and analyze the footage. What they find is downright chilling. That's not that chilling. Ghost orb. Recovered footage from a phone that was used as a static camera shows a portrait like they're all of all leaning. Late grandfather just mm -hmm. falling to the floor for unknown reasons. But that's not all. Because Kaneko has actually recorded the moment he found and looked through the cursed photo album on camera. Something happens that Kaneko claims that he doesn't remember at all. all Something right. terrifying. Sure. Thoughts on this? Uh, I don't know where this is does going. That look at like all? An, does well? Does this bind? That her? doesn't. I was gonna say that doesn't look as old as some of the stuff around it. That this this strikes me as the kind of folder you would go down to like the an office store and get for your school project. Yeah. You know, this I mean, maybe strike the me original as ancient cursed. The original um, album that held it fell apart, and this was, you know, our backup for it. Maybe Different pictures, I mean, but it just the structure of it just doesn't strike me as ancient cursed photo album. Yeah, it definitely doesn't match those pictures we saw earlier. Remember, do you remember those toys for Dove Dolls Brats? Yes. So that's giving me this is what Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's giving Brats vibes. Uh-huh. hundred percent. Why do you have to open up the other side? Why couldn't he just look in there? Because it's the same shelf. You can see the yeah. book right next to it. You can't yeah, see it over like me. Book. You can't see it over me. But you can see the book is right there in the corner. Man. That's a Jojo reference. Ree, that's a Jojo reference.
Did you see it? Kaneko hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the house. But when he turns to look, someone can be seen kneeling behind the glass of a sliding door. But Kaneko says there was no one else inside that house with him. That guy's a bit of a grab After there. Analyzing the footage, yeah. YouTube channel Fourth Wall believes that the woman's grandmother might have been responsible for her grandfather's death. Or it could have been spirit. a is with him the person on. that he said come here to watcher <laughs> in the woods yeah it's <laughs> it's definitely you know, like, come here for a random no reason you know yeah in a haunted house i and i don't get what prompted him to drop his his thing and then stay there if he's gonna drop yeah. it why isn't he running away why is he staying if he's dropping the record the camera I, that's I, what I, I was I, expecting after he dropped it to hear him running yeah because that's how they made it sound but it like he just hung out and then decided like eh i'll i'll have somebody else come get this stuff yeah that <laughs> it's weird it's definitely weird i i'm not a fan of those ones where it's like the hyper setup is yeah. is really bad i'm a cursed fault the cursed binder from walmart oh man it's i don't know it, i'm mixed on but on on ones like that like it's a cool concept it's absolutely a cool concept and maybe if it was i, I feel like there might be a bit of a culture gap of why we don't appreciate that it could more. Be. Uh, cause if it was an American house of a similar story and we've seen that we've seen other Asian cultures as well with similar stories, but like these ones just always feel so hyper set up. But again, we also have American ones that feel hyper set up. We got, we had the Mexican ones that were hyper set yeah. up. So we've been, we've been everywhere, but guys, that is, I mean, do you have any closing thoughts on it? Uh, I did enjoy the one that we saw similar to this where like it was the person's feet and like we would hear the bell like that one was like an overall entertaining one and this one like it just seemed like there was no effort into it. Yeah. I don't know. And it just doesn't it doesn't track. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. We had too many questions. <laughs> uh, yeah, we didn't get to see how the sausage was made. Yeah. But guys, that is going to be it for Into the Macabre. Uh, I had a lot of fun. There was some good stuff. There was some really, yeah. really, really good stuff. There was some not so good stuff, but as usual, it was a really enjoyable time. Uh, this video will be this will be up on YouTube as a video this upcoming weekend. It'll be edited down, cut down, and as usual, the links will be below in the description, so you can go to watch those videos and not hear us talking. And if you made it this far with us, thank you so much. Consider stopping by the Discord, discord.gg slash serve, and uh, let us know your thoughts and opinions on Into the Macabre in the Into the Macabre channel. That is in the Discord. Share with us any links to any uh, videos. What They could be short. They could be long. They could be stories. And definitely share with us some stories. Like, we're asking for your shadow people stories. Yeah. Give us your shadow people stories. Yeah, if you have any stories, not just shadow people. I know I like to read all that stuff. Um, feel free to put them in there or if you don't feel comfortable sharing you know openly or anything you can I have no problem with you DMing stories to me um, and we can say they're anonymous but, absolutely yeah. we do want to we would love to be able to feature some story content some good story content but that re requires us to get some good story content but nonetheless Guys, the next time we uh, Into the Macabre will be showing will be on May 15th. So come back at May 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern for more Into the Macabre live. Uh, check out episodes one through six on YouTube now. By this week, the weekend of the first, we will have 
episode seven. Check out all the, the old stuff, all the new stuff. Keep, stay Get with caught us. Up. Get caught up. You Please won't miss stay the with inside us. jokes, you know? We do reference this. a lot of the older episodes. Share this with your friends. Help us grow this project. We love doing this project, and we want you guys to stick with us and also love this project. But we appreciate you all being here, hanging out, and all that good stuff. And we will see you guys for more Into the Macabre on May 15th. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I hope you all have a good rest of your nights. Bye, guys. Thank you.